I did not do shit today. And play this. Yeah, up to 67 hours. So little that was actually played. Looks like that got maxed out. He'd be the one who gets something from uh, the ship expeditions. He's the pirate. But okay. Commander of the Sea. Oh, I did do something today. I got my cable bill knocked down like 10 bucks. That's something. Really? Or I could even move? Really switch you automatically to another person when you get downed. Jarring to just suddenly not be able to do anything. Recovery. Pretty bad start. Got an ambush on the highway. This is the highway. Probably meant going towards the way that was locked before. Up to the city to make sure. I wonder if I can get back in now.
Had to have missed one somewhere. Could just not have one, but I don't know, they seem to be fucking everywhere. So the attackers were demons. I guess that's why they needed us to stop the attack. The doctors? Looks like they ran off. It appears they were after this stuff. Medicine with the cathedral seal. Nectar! That scarf, did that belong to the attackers? Yeah, all three were wearing them. Does it mean something? Bad fashion taste? They were just demons. Aggressive ones who attacked the innocent. We finished all the jobs. Let's get back to the old lady's tavern. <laughs> you sure do like that Mabo curry. Uh, do I? Don't ask me. You didn't think it was tasty, Velvet? Couldn't tell you. Huh? Food doesn't hold any flavor for her. According to Velvet, she can never feel sated, and the only thing she can taste is blood. Oh, I see. That, uh, boss monster was over here. That's why I came here. If I leave and come back, is that cutscene? Uh. What's the matter? You're gloomier than usual. Am I actually useful? Yeah, healing magic. You can cut down any enemy, and Aizen can beat them up. Velvet is strong and can eat anything. Hmm? 
But I'm not good at fighting. And apparently I'm always gloomy. Is that what's bothering you? In a fight, offense alone isn't everything. Hurting your foes means nothing if you don't live to tell the tale afterwards. Your healing arts are what let us always fight at our best. He's right. Compared to dead weight like Mogilu, you're plenty helpful out there. Only compared to Mogilu? I didn't mean it like that. I was just saying she never helped at all. <sighs> you're not going to grow overnight. Be patient. Huh? You've only just been set free. That you've even managed to keep up with us this far is a feat in and of itself. Strength comes by continually improving your mind and body. Keep your spirits up and keep working at it. And you'll get there before you know it. I will? The drive to improve is what's important. Right. Sure. No? No angry beastie thing? I sworn this is where it was. My memory's not that good, but still I'm pretty sure that's where it is. By the way, those folks we just passed were talking about us. What were they saying? They were warning each other to be careful, talking about the demons that burned down Helavis and destroyed the Seagate Fortress being near the capital. Considering how bold we've been, everyone's still fairly calm about it. We'll be famous soon enough once we kill the world's savior. Sounds like that could get fun. Fun? Why? The people trying to capture us will put prices on our heads and put up wanted posters everywhere. Depending on who draws the likenesses, each portrait can look completely different. You know what I'm talking about, right, Eisen? Aye. I've seen dozens of pictures of myself. Some make me a monster, others make me a handsome youth. It's fascinating, really. I hope I get a poster soon. Then do your best to really stir things up. Right. I'll stir everything up good. <sighs> that plant caught my eye. Decorative. Scout ships. Welcome back. That must have been hard work. How does marble curry sound to you? I also have our specialty peach pie on We hand. had a deal. Spill it. <laughs> Shepherd Artorius has gone north, up the Danan Highway, at the Abbey's newest temple, the Empyrean's throne. He is expected to be there for a while. 
Are they relocating there? In a sense, yes. They're holding a ritual to move the seat of the Empyrean in Nominat. In Nominat. In other words, the Abbey's new god. It is a very serious affair. So I imagine Melchior will be there along with the other high exorcists. Suits us fine. I might even find him there. That will do. Somewhere in there we'll find a chance to strike. Perhaps. But be aware that security near the throne is on high alert. We'll manage to get through. No, you won't. You may be able to fool the guards, but there's no tricking the barrier they've put up. They've used arts to erect a giant wall, keeping outsiders away. But they have to get through themselves. That implies some sort of key, right? Yes. In fact, one of our people is looking into that as we speak. However, I'm afraid... <laughs> It'll cost us. You learn quickly. And here's the bill. Okay, now we're really not being nice. Consider it done. Aren't you going to ask why you have to kill a high priest? I imagine it's because he's the one controlling the nectar supply. The church is the sole producer and distributor of a highly addictive substance. They rake in huge profits, while the common man, along with your people, suffer for it. Does that cover it? You noticed your tasks were related. And obvious. That was the real test, wasn't it? And you passed. No matter how skilled you are, you have to know more than how to swing a sword to earn my trust. Don't misunderstand my intentions. I'm willing to do anything if it brings me to Artorias. I ditched my scabbard long ago. <sighs> I see. So you are the embodiment of a bear blade. A more formal introduction is in order. I am Tabitha Baskerville, leader of the Bloodwing Butterflies. I'm Velvet. Tell me about the High Priest. Each evening, he prays for protection from calamity at the royal villa on the Castle Logris grounds. Tradition holds that the High Priest should be alone for the prayer. That would seem the best time to strike. How do we get into the villa? Carry this insignia with you, and allies of the Bloodwings will offer you their aid. We'll hold up our end. Just find out about that key. Ah, <sighs> uh, Velvet? Are you okay? It's nothing. But you seem... I said it's nothing! Uh... Sneaking into the castle will be an all-night job. Let's take this time to get everything ready and then rest at the tavern. Yeah.
Get him the weird shit, kid. If nectar made from vermilion ore is so bad for your health that it was banned, why are they making it? They make it because it was banned. Huh? Just because the powers that be say a rule is for the greater good, it doesn't mean that everyone will see eye to eye with them. If Tabitha's Mabo curry was outlawed, would you really be able to never eat it again? I wouldn't like it, but if it's against the rules... Uh... <laughs> well, you'll get hungry no matter what. People want what they want. But anything forbidden is bound to be rare. And when things are rare, they become expensive. So that's why people make it. The world isn't a simple place. There's an underside to everything. An underside? Contract killers, secret weapons dealers, loan sharks that charge outrageous interest, pirates like me, the folks who offered us mooring for information, and the gilded Helleves are all part of it. As are the people who dye chicks blue to sell them at a higher price, and the people who bet on alleyway bug fights. <gasps> and they'll come to you with a smile, so you can't let your guard down if you want to stay safe. What sorts of bugs do they make fight? That's the part that got your attention. The question. I've seen some bug fights on YouTube. High Priest Gideon will be alone at night. Rest up and talk to the Tavern Keep when you're ready. The Shadow Guild operates this tavern. It's been that way for generations. The red scarf is a symbol of the Bloodwing butterflies? Aye, you seem to know a lot. Show that insignia to a person in a red scarf and they'll help you out. You're really gonna charge me? That's bullshit. We know for a fact that Captain Eifried was on the prison island for a period of time. And it's true that Melchior took him away. However, I'm afraid that is where the trail grows cold. In any case, we can be sure that the Abbey has him captive. But what could they possibly want with him? If their aim is merely to fight piracy, they'd publicly execute him, or try to lure you out, would they not? And yet they've done neither. Total silence. I wonder... Could it be they want to get their hands on the relic some say Eifried brought back from the far continent? The relic from across the sea? Have rumors of that strange thing been going around? It's possible. There was a certain relic that the captain was curiously taken with. Kept it safe. What was it? That's our business. I'll speak no more of it. But if that's truly what they're after, I highly doubt the villa is where they're keeping him locked up. That's not where they keep their torture implements. Quite true. At any rate, I thank you for sharing what secrets you could. I wish you the best of luck on your search for more information. More. More. More! I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. But I'm hungry. I'm so hungry! If survival is at stake, an elder sister eating her brother before he inexorably wastes away is not outside the bounds of reason. You needn't hold back, Velvet. Eat, Lafisette. No! No! You and your disgusting words! <laughs> what? <laughs> Why? You were... You were shouting. Be more careful around me! You know full well I'm a demon! 
I'm sorry. Damn. Awake or asleep, it's all one long nightmare. Smashing objects together is destruction. Smashing feelings together is life. But objects, tools, so much easier to abuse and toss aside. What does that mean? It means break time is over. Time to get to work, sweetie. <gasps> Good thing I showed up in time. Don't tell me you're coming too. Sojourn alongside the gloomy demon lady, and the exorcist controlling Bienfu is sure to appear. I told my own fortune, and there it was. Do your fortunes actually hold water? I've been in the castle before, you know. How useful to have Magilu along, they said in the future. Get in my way, and I'll give you the boot. It's the Viper's Nest. They're always watching. Yes. But therein lie shadows, too. Let's look for someone with a red scarf. Merchant? Let's see your papers. Checks out. This tunnel over here connects to the castle. It should put you inside the villa. Insane. <laughs> There's nothing Watch there. your step, boy. There are giant crocodiles in those waters. Crocodiles? A croc's favorite meal is witches. All right, onward and inward. Everyone but Mogilu, tread carefully. Some assassin's crew we are. The Bloodwings are a serious organization. I'm impressed that they know about this entrance. And they have agents on the inside to facilitate this little operation, too. 
They must have branches working all over the Empire. They've probably even figured out how to get cats and dogs working for them. Here's a juicy morsel about them. They make sure even their corpses go to good use. They what? Long ago, one of their agents stole into the castle. When the guards discovered him, they chased him to this very passage. He dove into the water to escape, and then... Crunch! Ah! A crocodile devoured him in one massive bite. All that remained was his arm, bobbing to the surface. From this, two important facts were learned. What were they? First, they learned of the existence of this passage. Second, they could serve crocodile meat in town. Crocodile meat rubbed with human blood becomes tender and succulent, perfect for Mavo curry. Then I ate? If it's so tasty, I'll have to try it. Rubbed with the blood of a lying witch. That would hit the spot, I think. And it wouldn't even affect our combat strength. Hey, the kid's a wreck. It was just a joke to help calm him down. It was a joke? Yeah, I totally made up that part about the crocodile. Mabo curry is actually made from man-eating catfish. <laughs> Let's keep moving. Right. I'll get you for this, witch killers! Seventh is age in this. I guess the game takes place like 50 or so years later from Zestiria. Kind of weird that they haven't talked at all about whatever happened to the shepherd. Hey, look! The water level dropped! You don't think there are any alligators down there, do you? That only took 20 tries. I refuse to fall here.
There's a lot of little slimies. You're strong, but not strong. But I'm this close. I won't miss. Form zero. Thunder. Strike. Twin whip. Go. Hurricane Hook. Hurricane Hook three. See this? Deception. Down. Down. I'll stop you. Hurricane Hook. See this? Deception. You won't get away. The enemy's guarding it really does a poor job of expressing that. Like, I cannot tell until I hit them and I'm repelled that they're guarding. It's happening when I hit the, the on on. BG trigger on him. These are deadly weapons. Huh. What'll it take to make you go all out? A foe worth killing. See this? Got got three. 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 Let's go. Let's 
Not up on an invisible enemy, apparently. protecting the people from demons, but there are demons right under their noses. Abbey security is certainly lacking here. The whole point of building those massive walls around the city is to keep people safe inside. But if there's a demon outbreak on the inside, those same walls will make it harder for everyone to escape. The palace covers a lot of ground, so there are tons of hiding places. It wouldn't be hard for a demon to slip in through the waterway. I'm sure the Abbey is aware of that. Perhaps it's a trap made to lure intruders in. What? They lure demons in and then ignore them? Something doesn't add up. I know, right? Can't steal people's rights with the threat of an external threat if the threat isn't there. But you seize power. the enemy in so that you can control the citizenry. Even bother having the switch if it's right next to the path that it unlocks. I mean, set the path be unlocked. Again, like this, that there's no reason for that rock to be there.
But if I had that in the same order, it might turn yellow as well. I don't know what the yellow means. Killing flash! But I'm this close, I won't miss! Form zero! Thunder! No escape! See this? I'll stop you! Hurricane! Can I use mine? There we go. It's so unresponsive. I don't know why. See? Goddamn. Of course, I get stunned while I'm spamming the beast mode button. Still hitting that. Like, well, full time basically after my little special move went off, I started hitting that button. And that time, only took once. It's so inconsistent, it makes no sense. I swapped that out. Deception! Deception! Hey! Got you! Got you! Light it up! Pain and move! Hurricane! Light it up! Until your face from your ass, you're ugly truck. Deception! Deception! Hurricane! Deception! Got you! Got you! Got you! Forget the pain and move! Got you! Got you! Quickness! Got you! Pummel! I hate how long he just stands there doing nothing before he finally heals. Kills games in general. The AI just loves standing there doing nothing. Especially bad in Zestiria, because you need your partners alive to transform. At least in this, if everyone does, eh. I'm still do my little berserker mode. Got you, crash through! Got you, crash through! Got 
Ken was blocking, but okay. Slow about healing. Point of block in this fucking game. button and it just walks into him and gets hit instead. There we go! Actually activated when I said to! Okay, sure. I was at his side, but he hit me anyway. Why not? Probably more at his rear quarter panel. I'm like a jackass for a while. Light heal us! Nope. Forgot to take that! Just power! Finish! Winlight! Hurricane! 
I get near the fucker, I get paralyzed. Close one, but I am the victor. Yeah, and there I was getting annoyed because it did not activate the third uh, little berserker thing I was trying to do. He died anyways, but still annoyed. So I've noticed. We need to get through here while it's still nighttime. The perfect place for prognostication. Eeny teeny spiny crow. Which way, which way shall we go? Mogilu. Oh, verily the icy glare of death. Boy, which way do you think is best? I. <laughs> uh... There must be a way up somewhere. Let's find it. <laughs> uh... Why so glum, Velvet? The thought of killing a man weighing heavy even on your own damaged conscience? Not especially. But I wonder how you remain so flippant about it. Hey, I'm not here to murder anyone. I'm just tagging along in search of my traitor. <clears throat> Do we have to kill him? Can't we just make him stop this nectar business? I don't think he'd listen to us. Huh? Word in the taverns is that this high priest is a real shady character. The Abbey and the religion are popular now, but three years ago, no one had heard of them. High Priest Gideon was the one who led the church through those dark days. But once Malachim became visible to the general public, and they learned how effective Malak arts were against demons, that all changed. Humans are such fools, only believing what they can see with their own eyes. And once the church had attained popular support, a nasty power struggle swept through the ranks. Many vied for the mantle of high priest, charlatans, power-hungry converts, but they all faded away. They left the church? No, they all met their maker. Some from disease, others from accidents. And in the end, Gideon became high priest. <gasps> He may be the head of the church, but the people clamor for Shepherd Artorius. That's got a sting. 
Either way, if we're to face him, he might have some tricks up his sleeve. We'll need to keep our eyes open. It doesn't matter who he is. We just do our job. You're strong, but I'm strong. You're wide open! Burn! Come on! Useless! No escape! Hold up! It's Hold up! Hold up! Hold I wish I had power like that. Like it's trying to tell me to go in here. That's it. Scouts. Oh, 
Most of that half hour was spent in one fight. Running around like a jackass. Playing this reminds me, I never did finish Star Ocean. Need to work on that. Far deeper in this than I was in that, though. I need to still do Final Fantasy XV, but it keeps crashing on me. I was waiting for them to put out a patch or something, but it seems like uh, that's not happening. Of course, because Square doesn't give a shit about PC players. Uh, look in the fan patches. Those always end up coming out for Final Fantasy games. This is unexpected. Wow! Oh, ho, ho. well, isn't this a rare collection of tomes? You royals sure have coffers to burn. Oh, books in the ancient tongue. Can you read it? Well, no, but I just. This has nothing to do with our job. Probably a little extra loot. Huh? If you want it, just take it. Don't pretend to be noble. You're consorting with demons. Good grief, Velvet. You can't lighten up for once in your life. Lighten up? Did you forget we're here to kill someone? You really want that ratty old thing? There's gotta be way pricier ones. That one's pinkish purple. My cat is demanding attention, so I'm gonna go back to that save point. Like it's break time. Cat mandated. <laughs> 